Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm New York State Attorney General Eric Schneiderman. Uh, thank you for joining me here today. Uh, I'm very pleased today to announce a major settlement agreement with Goldman Sachs and to talk about what this agreement means for thousands of families and communities across New York State. I'm happy to be joined in this announcement by members of my team who have been working tirelessly on this and other uh, investigations into uh, the firms that packaged and marketed the bad mortgage-backed securities that brought the American economy to its knees in 2008 and work every day to help ensure that uh, New Yorkers and the communities that were hurt by that crash get whatever relief is possible. Uh, Steve Glassman, our Senior Enforcement Counsel for Economic Justice, and Assistant Attorneys General Desiree Cummings and Ken Heim. Um, today, our federal state working group, uh, which I co-chair, is announcing a new $5 billion settlement with Goldman Sachs uh, to resolve claims over the bank's deceptive practices leading up to the housing crash. Of that, New York and New York families uh, and communities will receive $670 million in cash and consumer relief. Today's settlement reflects the way that my office continues to work to turn the billions we recover from the banks since our working group was created in the spring of 2012 into real help for real New York families. This settlement will help thousands of families with principal forgiveness get to obtain write-downs of their mortgage debt so they can avoid foreclosure and stay in their homes. It will help to finance uh, multifamily affordable housing projects. It will fund land banks and local code enforcement efforts and is really uh, another major step in the fight for justice for the families and communities that were devastated when a combination of reckless deregulation and abusive practices by a relatively small number of financial firms brought the American economy to its knees in 2008. Um, as many of you know, I was the first and for a time the only state attorney general to demand a full investigation into the conduct that contributed to the crash. And in March of 2011, uh, very shortly after I took office, I announced that I would not sign off on what I thought was a very bad deal that had been negotiated by other state AGs and some of our federal counterparts that would have released pretty much all of our claims relating to the crash. After a vigorous debate with some of my colleagues and, uh, and federal agencies, uh, the president came to see things my way. And in the 2012 State of the Union address, President Obama uh, appointed me to co-chair an unprecedented federal state working group to investigate the banks and recover money for communities across the country that have been damaged by the crash. The total, as of today, of these settlements is well over $95 billion for families and communities across America. Um, and in the bank settlements that uh, we've obtained since I've been working group co-chair, we've now secured more than $5 billion in cash and consumer relief for New Yorkers. And we break down here uh, the settlements that we've obtained so far. Uh, we think that these estimates are probably low. Uh, we're awaiting monitor the reports from the monitors that are appointed to oversee each settlement. And we think that the consumer relief, the value of the consumer relief is probably actually a little bit higher than what's projected here. Uh, but it's important to remember that when I took office in January 2011, we were in the middle of the worst housing crisis in the history of the United States. And the misleading ways that financial firms created, packaged, and sold mortgage-backed securities uh, helped drain trillions of dollars in wealth from homeowners and nearly destroyed the American middle class. Families across our country lost $7.4 trillion in the year 2008 alone. And when I took office, almost 350,000 New York families were facing foreclosure. Uh, I quickly learned that um, about half those families never had a chance to talk to a lawyer at any point in the process and made a commitment that uh, uh, that was not going to that was not going to happen on my watch in New York State. So the first program we set up was the Homeowner Protection Program, or HOP, which is a network of legal services and housing counseling agencies. Three years later, our office is funding 90 agencies across the state that have helped almost 60,000 families stay in their homes. Um, as long as I'm Attorney General, no New York family is going to lose their home because they can't get to a lawyer. Uh, we also then realize that even if you save your home, 
but you're on a street with a bunch of abandoned properties, you're also a victim of the housing crash. So we work with our colleagues in local governments to d respond and address to and address the crisis of abandoned properties. This settlement puts an additional $30 million in credits towards our efforts to build to fund land banks that enable communities to purchase and rehabilitate abandoned properties that are a blight on communities across our state. We already have uh, 16 nonprofit land banks in communities from Niagara Falls to Suffolk County. Uh, some of them are, are relatively new, but they're, they're all working to return vacant properties to productive use and helping revive communities in the process. When you get rid of abandoned properties, property values go up, crime goes down, tax revenues increase. It's very, very important for reviving communities that are still struggling. For example, in Syracuse, one of our more successful land banks, they've already acquired more than 900 properties, which are either going to be rehabilitated for affordable housing or torn down to create open space. Um, finally, we all know that in a bad economy, anyone can suddenly lose their job or get sick and incur unexpected medical bills. It's easily even for the most financially responsible person to fall behind on their mortgage payments. That's why uh, in today's settlement is going to dramatically scale up uh, the work we've been doing with our Mortgage Assistance Program, or MAP. MAP helps families who are struggling to pay their mortgages restructure small debts in order to gain a mortgage modification or to become current on their first mortgage. There are folks who would qualify for a modification that would enable them to stay in their home, but they have some small outstanding medical debt or debt on a pre-existing loan that prevents them from doing it. The MAP program enables our HOP providers, the legal services and housing counseling agencies, to make small loans, add them on essentially as, as second mortgages to enable these families to take advantage of the modifications that are available. Um, MAP loans help families switch to mortgages with sustainable payment plans and to get their lives back on track. We have heard remarkable stories about uh, how these loans, even in our, our initial pilot program, have turned people's lives around. Uh, we've helped hundreds of families already, and today's settlement will enable us to dramatically ramp up this effort, and we expect this will help keep several thousand more families in their homes. Um, ladies and gentlemen, my office will continue to fight to keep New York families in their homes and to fight to see that all New York communities are finally able to put the housing crisis in the rearview mirror. Uh, our work is ongoing. Other than the HOP program, most of the programs we've initiated with the bank settlement funds are relatively new, and uh, they're start already uh, bringing tremendous benefits. We look forward to them bringing success all across our state. This settlement is another major step forward uh, for the state and for the federal state working group, which I'm very proud to co-chair. Co uh, our work is not complete, but the work thus far has been an extraordinary success, and I'm very proud of the team of lawyers here that have made this possible. And with that, uh, I will take questions on topic. If you. Sure. Uh, what you do is you go on our website, you find the HOP provider in your neighborhood, in your community. We're funding, as I said, about 90 legal services and housing counseling agencies all over the state of New York. Contact them. Find out. We urge everyone, even if you don't think you're eligible for a mortgage modification, contact the HOP providers. These are legal services and housing counseling agencies with expertise in this area. We have been working over the last few years to ensure that they have good access to real decision makers at the banks so that we can elevate the discussion if there's a problem of communication to a higher level. Contact them. Find out what you're eligible for. If you have a small outstanding debt that stands between you and a modification, ask about the MAP program. So it's, it's very easy. Go on the OAG website. Uh, we have the HOP network up there. Very easy to contact. Very user friendly. And uh, uh, we've helped tens of thousands of families, and we're looking forward to helping tens of thousands more. Are there any qualifications that you can tell us now that uh, people need to meet? Well, it, it depends on the type of mortgage you've got. I mean, the, the, the goal here is to make sure that, that anyone who's eligible for a modification, and there are thousands of New York families who are eligible either under our programs or other under other programs that were set up by HUD or other agencies to get their mortgages modified. They just don't know it. 
And what happens a lot of the time is people will get mail from the bank. They know they're overdue on their mortgage. They'll just throw the letters away. They won't look at them. And it, it's very important. Tell your neighbors. Tell your friends. If you have, you're having trouble making your mortgage payments, it's all it takes you is a phone call. Contact a hop provider. Go in and bring them the paperwork. We, there's an excellent, we can't help everybody, but there's an excellent chance that we can try and uh, resolve your problems. And each settlement builds on the work of the last settlements. We have more funding, we have more resources, and we develop better systems with the banks as we go through to see that this happens. Uh, hi, Ilya Merritt from WNYC. Uh, I think you mentioned 350,000 uh, New York families were facing foreclosure. What's, where did, what does that look like today? It, the number is down. I don't know what the current number is. We can get it for you, but it's it, the number is down. New York has a very slow foreclosure process, and uh, it's taken longer for us to clear the market than in a lot of other states. The, the number is down, um, but it's uh, uh, it, it has dragged out, and there have been reports in some cases of banks going more slowly than they should. It's something that we deal with all the time and are, are in discussions with banks trying to expedite the process. And then, uh, on a somewhat different point, uh, there's a lot of banks uh, named on that chart. There's only one or two big banks that I can think of that aren't there. Is this uh, working group close to winding down at this point? What's, what work is left to do? No, there are more financial institutions out there, and our, our work's not done. Um, there are, are other discussions ongoing with other banks. It's, uh, um, uh, you know, we, we get more creative with every deal, and we should expect to see more deals in the future. Well, the overall deal, the, this is a federal state working group, so this overall settlement of Goldman with all federal entities and states was $5 billion. New York's share of it is we've gotten uh, $190 million in cash, which goes to the general fund this is to help us sustain our budget surpluses, which we have in the state of New York, and uh, another uh, uh, $480 million dollars is in these various forms of consumer relief for land banks, for the MAP program, for the HOP program, things like that. Um, could you talk a little bit about what Goldman did? Uh, and, and, and I guess uh, you're, under the agreement they admit to this behavior, is that right? Correct. There's a statement of facts that we can provide you where they, they make admissions. It's um, uh, Each bank is somewhat different, uh, but the, the pattern is generally the same. There uh, came a point in time uh, 2004, 2005, when there were, people became aware of the fact that they were putting mortgages that uh, were overwhelmingly likely to fail into the mortgage-backed securities that they were selling around the world um, uh, and not keeping on their books long enough to have to worry about whether the, the securities failed. Uh, uh, Goldman had uh, both bulk purchasing and purchasing through what it was called a conduit system. They had made representations about the level of due diligence they conducted to make sure that the mortgages were all good. And Goldman was dealing with some of the worst actors um, in the mortgage industry. They were dealing with Countrywide um, and uh, companies like that. So at, at a certain point in time, they knew that they were packaging and marketing securities that were overwhelmingly likely to fail. They represented that they had a due diligence system to ensure that the bad mortgages were taken out. Um, those representations were false. That's the essence of the complaint. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all.